What's going on guys, Pack Daddy here, bringing you the next episode in the Ultimate Wheel series. In the last episode, we ended up losing Steven Stamkos, had to discard him because we lost the in-game challenge. But then later on in the episode, after we made a person rage quit, we got three packs. And in those packs, Series 2, Alexander Ovechkin, I still cannot believe it. I'm so freaking pumped to use him on my team fingers crossed we don't have to discard him if we lose another challenge but that is all that's happened in the past this is the present now we're gonna go ahead and spin this wheel and we got about 55,000 pucks to go ahead and use it oh my gosh son of a we got bankrupt again it's always when we have a lot of coins and <laughs> we just have to go ahead and I guess buy some crap card on the auction house and make somebody's day somebody who throws a rare or an uncommon card up for 50,000 and we got to go buy that sucker so it's unfortunate luckily there's not like a space on the board discard your last player you got in the pack that would be terrible but we got to bankrupt so all of our coins are going to be gone we got to just get rid of them somehow we're going to go ahead and buy a crap card on the auction house as I said before make somebody's day and let's go bankrupt ourselves Okay, so here we are. We're setting our buy now to 56,000 pucks, and we got to get rid of all of these guys. And we could, like, buy a Movember and quick sell them, but that's no fun because then that guy gets what he's asking for when they have Jakob Silverbergs out here for these 85 overalls. Not the Pominville, none of that. We need somebody who's absolutely terrible who's going to shock the heck. There's a lot of these small cards out here. But we're really looking for somebody who's going to catch our, our eye. Those silvers, I mean, people might just be... Ooh, what is that? Is that... Was that a Brett Pesci that I saw there? 79 overall from the Hurricanes. 50,000 pucks? Oh my gosh. And he's only been up for 35 minutes. We got to buy this guy. He is money. So we're going to buy him 50,000, 50 pucks. All of our money is gone, but we got that Brett Pesci solid pickup for the team and we're just gonna quick sell we don't want him we got 5500 pucks left over we just gotta buy somebody else somebody terrible can't buy these silvers this might be a price locking a-hole who has cornered the market on that player so we're not gonna go into what he feels like but oh my gosh scott wilson he looks like a muppet that means we have to buy him get rid of the other 5500 pucks that we have so now we are down to zero and unfortunately, that is all that we can do before we play this next game. So we're going to quickly hop into our next game here. We're going to look at the team just so you can see the upgrades that we got. We got the Alex Ovechkin on the line two right here. He's insane. He's going to be with Doug Gilmore and Adam Gray. It's just a filthy, filthy lineup. And then we're going to go over here to Tyler Johnson. And we got an Oshi in one of the packs. We're going to quickly flip him over. And I got some awesome defensemen, so I'm really happy about that one. We're going to hop into this game real quickly. I got some fresh new jerseys. Check out those Switzerlands. Insane. All right, coming in with the zone entry. We got the entry right here. Throw it over. D2D. -D -D. Ekblad whips the crap out of that puck. That's when you know you're going to be ice tilted to a T on this game. And the odds are stacked against you. Okay, we got the one-timer pass right here. What a pass. Okay, Carlson. Carried around. I love how he slammed on the brakes. Deeked out the defender. We're one on one. We're going to cut to the inside and shoot back short side. That one's going post to post. We're up one to nothing early in this game. Carlson is a very, very dependent forward. He's one of my favorite offensive defensemen. That, I think that's what he was last year. Okay, end of the first period right now. We got one shot on goal. And you know that if Jonathan Quick was still on our team, it would be tied up one to one heading into the second period. Fortunately, we picked up that Corey Schneider. All right, got the break with a nice po check. Barzel comes down. He's free inside. He t oh my gosh, my controller stopped working, and that it was an almost accidental one T. We're gonna throw it up to the defenseman. Try and pass it back down to the winger. He's free. Do a little spin move. Try and hit that one timer. And with the offhand, it still finds the back of the net. Good release. It looks like Ovechkin, but that is Paul. I think that's was that Paul Stats. It was Paul Statsny. Somehow he's missing one of his two big front teeth, just like Ovechkin is. Hopefully we can get a goal with Ovi so that we can see what those pearly whites look like. But for right now, we have the two to nothing lead in this game. Okay, we're coming down with a nice dangle around. We're going to try and shoot far side. He gets the blocker on it. We got Voracek in the corner. Big body guy can't move him off the puck. The puck finds a way into the back of the net. Ref is calling no goal on this one. Let's see what happens in the replay right here. I might have bumped him off. And yeah, shoulder, and then he kicks the puck. 
I love it right there, and that is definitely not a goal. Voracek seems to think it is, though. He's pretty happy about that. Let's see it from one other angle. <laughs> Deliberate kick right after he just shoulder humps Luongo out of the crease. I love it. Let's see what the ref says. I'm pretty sure that 99%, this is a no goal. It'd be hilarious if it was. Okay, yeah. No goal on this one, but uh, yeah, Voracek. Like, you didn't know that was going to be called back. Well, let's continue this game. We still have the lead. Okay, entry into the zone right here. We're going to step up and put a body on him. Caleb Jones manages to connect. So we're going to be bringing it out. He bites on me, so it's now a two-on-one. Drops down, hits the crossbar, keep pressing up on the controller, and it pays off for us. We find the back of the net. Whenever there's a scrum in front of the net like that, I just keep pressing up. Maybe the puck will find a way to my stick. I have to be sit there and be ready for it with the controller in hand just keep pressing up on that stick hopefully it finds the way into the back of the net and it does here let's see it just popped right out and we were there brandon sod was there to tap that puck in so now we have the three to nothing advantage okay here's our first break with ovi he can absolutely rock it down the ice and oh he unfortunately gets stopped by luongo it's too bad we couldn't get a geno for ovi on his first break of the game Okay, face off in our zone. We're going to go with the pullback right here. It's successful. Roman Yossi, we're going to slowly take it out of zone, get the defender to bite, throw it up to one of the wingers, book it up the side. Saad, we're going to try and... There we go. Goes sneaking right under the arm of Luongo. Tried to go top corner, but I guess they are fatigued, so it ended up going right under the shoulder. This one looks like it's going to be a 4 to nothing finish for the first game of Division 7. And just like that, that is the first game done. We are 1-0-0. Game pretty, pretty handily in our favor. We have the shots and pretty much everything advantage. Brandon Saad with the first all-star. Carlson and Statsny follow him up. And now it is time to get back to the second spin of the ultimate wheel. We got bankrupt last time. 55,000 coins down the can. No more. We got about 800 left over. About, not about 1,700 after our game winning bonus. Had to leave me with something here. I can't be a broke hut player with the team that I got. I mean, I could, but if you guys really want me to be a stickler, I will get rid of all of those cards so that I have nothing. But it is the second spin of the wheel. We're getting ready to go here in this one, and we are, I'm just hoping for something good right, right now. And what is it gonna be? Open oh, 10 taxes right on the money. That's exactly what we needed to rebuild this coin bank that we have because we're at zero right now. Theoretically, we're at zero. And I'm more excited for what's in the packs. We never really get anything good in these packs, aside from the Series 2 Ovechkin we got at the end. My wheels, my spinner's almost falling off right there. But we have so many jerseys, so many coaches, the arenas and the logos and all of that stuff is starting to sell for a little bit more now that team of the year is coming up so let's go crack open all these and see if we can get another great pull out of these packs so here we are at the pack menu fortunately for us we got 10 packs unfortunately though we did not get the ultra pack because there are some good cards out right now a lot of milestones a lot of player of the games especially that kudrov from last night love it so we're gonna go ahead and buy some of these packs Okay, it looks like we are doing this one on accident. I went ahead and clicked pack open. I think we're only like seven packs in. But we're doing this one right now, John Gibson 89. If that's how these packs are gonna start off, this pack opening is gonna be great. And yeah, there's nothing much in the rest of these packs. Let's finish up. Okay, we got the rest of the nine packs. I was a little quick to jump and tried to open one pack early, but I got an 89 out of it, so I'm not too unhappy about that one. And let's see in this first pack, Hopefully we can get somebody good. We need some good pulls. Pulled an OV in one of these last episode, so fingers crossed. Tyler Johnson, not bad, but that is unfortunately all that we're going to get out of this first pack. Okay, second, Series 2, Expansion Plus Pack, whatever you want to call it, the Money Maker, and we're going to skip through them just how we did last time. I said I'm going to open every pack like that, and I forgot. We got 10 of, and who's our last rare on this one? Craig Smith, 287, so I'm liking where these packs are at so far but we haven't gotten anything amazing that 89 goalie we got we want to transfer that to an 89 player that'd be fantastic if we could pick up a sniper for our fourth line it's a little bit weak we got Lucic and Grabowski that is unfortunate okay we only get two rares in each of these packs I think last year is what seven rares in each pack and you had a chance to get some really good cards last year I think I fared better but then again I got Ovechkin this year we got Eric Fair and Mika Zibanejad Mike Zibanejad however you want to call it we got okay half the packs are down you can see that regular 
plus card looming in the background over there. We're going to save that puppy for last. Crack open this one. The anticipation is building. Let's see. We got Ekholm and gosh, Jelenus. Next pack. Here we go. Four left and four Ovies. I'm calling it. We're getting an Ovi in each pack right here. Bam! I think I saw Hornquist. So that is not going to happen for us. Matt Murray, the goaltender. Maybe a Crosby in here, and that is not going to do it. Too many sucky rares in these packs. And we really need something good to happen. These packs are 99% let down, but that 1% upbringing and happiness is well worth it, I guess I must say. Thanks to Ovi last time. Ryan Murray and Carl Haglin. Son of a... Two packs left. Series 2, Expansion Plus. Two good players. There's a 2 on the cover of the other pack so I mean we're gonna get somebody really good right here I'm guessing a 92 Tukarski and who's the second right here this is the card Tyler freaking Ennis all right here we go the last pack the gold plus pack this is where the card is going to lie I'm looking at that milestone Crosby right here who's it gonna be is it gonna be in this pack Gergensen who's the last rare mother and we are live into the next game, this second game of Division 7. Let us chill is the team name of this Chicago Black Hockeyan and Corey Schneider 2-0-0, 0 goals against average with a 1.0 save percentage. This is going to be a good game or not. Back in the windy city here, Chicago, Illinois, get ready to play yet another guy from Chicago. He's rocking some very, very classic jerseys. I love the look at it. Looks like we got Jeff Carter at the faceoff dot. He's going to win the draw. He's going to take it down. We're going to apply a little bit of pressure. He somehow squeaks by Schneider with the good save. Risky of him to shoot the puck. Oh, crap. And how did he not? score that ah puck ends up in our net we are down one to zero early in the game three seconds before we could have quit out but i've never quit out ascii i've never done it but we're going to continue this game and try and come out with the w okay off of the break we're trying to get something out he's applying good good pressure here ovechkin throws it up to voracek he's gonna cut inside we're going backside short i don't know if you consider that a cheese goal i mean it's a very high probability shot when you play in beer league or in the nhl or something shooting backside from where the goalie came from i know as a goalie myself it's very hard to retransfer your momentum all the way to the backside but we have tied this game up 1-1 okay nyquist gets the puck we're settling it down, calling the play, giving it our own pace with Nyquist. He's booming. We get the nice move. We're going to try to get to the inside. I got to get my controller fixed. This thing is ridiculous. I was supposed to shoot that. It didn't react to me shooting the puck, but he misses it on the zone leaving, and Nyquist gets rocked. I guess there's no such thing as interference in this game, ref. Okay, coming down right here. We're going to throw it back up to the point. Oh, he thought I was going for the cross crease, and I went inside and sniped it. Short side from the point, Ekblad with a nice snipe. You can see him cheating over and just left a wide open lane for me to shoot it. We're going 2-1 to one in this game. Okay, end of the first period. After that first shift of his, we've kind of controlled the pace of the game. We're going to start off this second period with the second line full of superstars right here. Trying to win the faceoff dot. We got... Okay, we're going to do it. Gilmore does win the faceoff. Ovechkin comes in, picks up the loose puck, but he's got the break right here. Finish it right there. And that is Ovi's first goal as a part of the Ultimate Wheel team. That's nice to see. That's the buck tooth I was looking for. Looking insanely hillbilly as hell. Not that Paul Statsny lookalike, but I'm finally glad that we were able to get that first goal for him. Hopefully they flow like water now on the next few goals here in the Ultimate Wheel series. Okay, in the zone right here. Meyer, step up, crunch him. Nails Marner, and he's just sitting there spinning on the ground still. Dangle around his defenseman. We're going to get by the other one one-on-one, -on -one, but he's too slow. We can't get it off. Poke check. Nice poke check. Okay, Myers throws it up to Barzal. One-timer, Ekman Larson. Quick was so far out of net. I love playing against him because he is doing terrible right now. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I like to see out of you, Quick. I mean, we drop him. This guy picks him up. We're in the lead. Okay, coming down, Carl Haglin gets free. Where's my defenseman? I think he went over and ran to the other defenseman. These AI are absolutely so stupid, it is retarded. So I don't know. I'm trying to control my angle on this one. Anger on this one, but it is four to two. We still have the advantage. We just cannot let him build up momentum because EA has it in their code that there is momentum. 
Coming down, we're gonna try and crunch him right here. Great save over there by Schneider. He's going, what the heck, Schneider, come on. I mean, I'll let it slide since he made an amazing diving save, stacked the pads and actually saved it, unlike Quick did a few episodes ago, but then he lets in a squeaker on the wraparound. This is a one goal game. Okay, coming down one-on-one, -on -one. hit the pressure right here, and why am I not surprised on this one? Are you serious? 4-4, four four, he ties it up. He's made three of those goals, most of them crap. And that is how it goes. <laughs> One guy, and then I have four of my defenders around him. That was not Kessel unassisted. Ekman Larson, come on. Bury this one. Oh, yeah. oh, squeaks by. Oh, man, I was very, 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 very nervous on that one. I was very quiet. Was trying to net that one before the second period ended. We got it. We got the 5-4 advantage. We got it short-handed on that one. I needed that goal to get back in the lead before the third period starts. This guy has been on a tear trying to come back and steal this victory from the jaws of defeat from us. But we are still going strong, and we're going to try and bring this one out as a W. Okay, start of the third period. We got Dougie Gilmore taking the face off yet again. We're going to oh, we're gonna lose this one. Thought I had that one. Thought I had the take on that one. Slow play it. Try and get the pressure. There we go. Nice step up by the end. Grab the puck, man. Come on. Absolutely ridiculous. Schneider makes the huge save right here. Where's the puck? No, oh, are you serious? Oh, thank heavens. That was not called as a goal. I was about to just throw my controller out the window. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why Caleb Jones didn't pick the puck up. I mean, it was staring right in front of him. He was trying to, like, stick handle around the puck. But hopefully they're going to call this one off. Actually, I know they're going to call this one off. Goalie interference penalty. So let's still try and save this game. Okay, we got an errant pass by his defender all the way back. So we got Nyquist. Show me you're not a slow old man. Gonna try and poke it here. Actually gets it free. There's the one-timer right there. And that should put the nail in the coffin with them. This one, we are going up 6-4 to four in this game. Nyquist with the hustle. That's why you chase those pucks. Don't let anything be assumed in this game. He throws the wild poke check out there and seals that deal and throws it and finds the one-timer the other guy coming and rushing down and that should put the nail in the coffin as i said before in this game we're gonna try and make something happen right here quick with the save at the end and i think that should do it all right boys that is gonna do it for the episode that is another two and O win for the episode another perfect episode a lot of things going on in this episode i think that makes us 15 something and something in the Ultimate Wheel series. Very exciting game. I thought it was going to be a blowout, but he really came back and applied the pressure in the second and third period. Nice to see that kind of competition in Division 7. Ovechkin finally making his way onto the three-star leaderboard with a goal and an assist and a hit. He probably killed somebody with that a hit. But that is going to do it for this episode of the Ultimate Wheel. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you do not miss more of these Ultimate Wheel series episodes and as well as some of the hut drafts that we are starting to do. We did a fast Fastest skating hut draft the other day and if you guys missed it we're doing an Ilya Brzgalov stadium series giveaway because he was the number one star in that game all you have to do for that one is go to my Twitter handle which is in the description below be sure to follow me and retweet the page now I'll be picking a winner at 5 o'clock Friday evening you guys can claim it whenever you want I'm not one who really wants to jump and finish everything is gonna be sitting there refresh waiting for you to respond to my messages but that is gonna do it for this episode of the ultimate wheel you guys are loving the series i'm loving the support i'm getting and i love playing these games my team is absolutely filthy and this is just division seven it goes up from here so if you guys did enjoy the video i would very much appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel if you have not we have like 70 percent of the viewers are not subscribed to the channel what are you guys doing we're going to be pumping out content all the way until nhl 18 comes back if you cannot tell i am on the grind to make those good videos so be sure to hit the subscribe button like the video it does help the channel grow and comment in the comment section whatever you want to do we have hundreds of comments thousands of comments every episode don't check the other videos just take my word for it but hope, go ahead and comment in the comment section of the video like and subscribe to the channel once again I hope you guys are enjoying the video. There will be another one of these episodes posted on Sunday. You can be sure that these are going to go up on Sunday. That way you guys aren't at home bored. Nothing to do on Sunday before the school week starts again where you have to go back to your job on Monday. So I want to go ahead and throw these things out on Sunday sometime during the middle of the week and then expect two hut drafts also. So at least four videos a week and then a pack opening on top, cherry on top. 
if that is what you guys would like to see. Let me know in the comments section. Let me know on Twitter. Things are popping off on this channel. Love the support. As of recently, the growth has been absolutely insane. So I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Once again, if you could like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section. I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.